Hello, welcome to one of my unboxing videos. Um, it's not that often that I do them, and it's usually only special occasions when I get something I'm quite excited about. Um, I've been after one of these controllers for ages. I've been waiting for the right price. Uh, like, I think it was just under 20 quid on Amazon. Um, I will put a link to it in the description. It will be an affiliate link, so if you do want to buy one, please use my affiliate. Um, and basically, this is it. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's the MLG Pro Circuit Controller. It's it's cabled. That's kind of one of the, I guess, what you might call downfalls of it, in a way. But... Uh, but yeah, I mean, a wired controller is always better than a wireless because it's uh, constantly connected, if you know what I mean. And so, without further ado, let me change the camera angle and I will start unboxing. So, okay, as you can see, I don't really have a lot of desk space. Uh, but this is kind of just a sleeve that went over the top there and so we shall put that to one side now this is the main box which on the sides it has a little bit of tape and so uh, the tape kind of looks a bit like it's already been opened if you know what I mean, it's been restuck so yeah not so happy about that. Uh, if you can see the little light down here, that's my snowball mic. <laughs> Say hi to Mike! And... Here we go, trying to get this tape off. I basically want to peel it off nice. Ta da! There we go, without making any mess. And so, uh, which way are we going here? Oh, 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 dun, 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 and there we go. Uh, so excuse me a moment. You see, I'm kind of using uh, my, my big TV with a big white background to help provide light so you can see what's going on. So there we go, there's uh, the controller in that part there, that's obviously like the main thing. And then you've got the bits and bobs down the bottom there. So, what we shall do is remove the bits and bobs to, uh, to show you, there we go. Those are like the, uh, what have you got there? couple of the analog sticks, uh, sort of face plate and uh, grip parts, a d-pad at the top there, so uh, yeah, that's that bit, which I'm not sure I actually need, I'm not, I think those might actually be spares because somehow remove this and put that there because what you get inside and just happens to be stuck this tape what you also get is this lovely bag so uh, to keep in that's the wire, obviously. Um, the wire is like three meters long. No idea why. <laughs> I mean, oh, excuse the banging there. Uh, not sure why you would want a three meter long um, wire. But there you go. <laughs> uh, I must admit, it's 
pretty heavy. There's quite some light in it. So that is the actual pad itself. Dun, 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 dun. So as you can see in the reflection there, that's my TV. Uh, there's nothing on the screen, it's just a white background. It's not going to mention it's so Anyway, there is the MLG bag. That's pretty much if you want to take it round with you to Ooh, focus. Focus. Stupid camera, thank you. Uh, that's if you want to take it with you to competitions or just run your mates house, whatever. I don't know. So, yeah. Uh, what's a big bag there? And now, with this, that's it, that just lifts off there. And if we can. <laughs> try and access the actual controller itself. Yes, uh, excuse a lot of the mess. Uh, mess. No, excuse a lot of the noise. Because the mic being so close and oh, you can see the top of my head. Look, I'm singing. Oh no! So yeah. It's coming! That's what she said. Oh my god. Is it glued in here or hey, there we go. <sighs> right. <laughs> so wow, this is heavy. Heavy man. Uh there it is. In all its glory. In all its lovely glory in it. Um Oh, yeah, feels nice. I mean, yeah, some of the reviews that were on uh, on Amazon were basically saying, "Oh, it, it feels light. It feels like there's nothing in there." And, uh, basically, it, it felt cheap and whatever. Uh, really, feels cheap. If there's one thing it does not feel cheap, it is pretty substantial, it's quite, you know, quite solid. Uh, it's kind of like, I mean, this is the PS3 version, or, and you have shoulder buttons there similar to the Xbox 360 pad. Uh, your, your triggers are similar to an Xbox 360. And if I can, <laughs> to be honest, uh, this is why I wanted one of these controllers because although you've got the the usual dual analogs down the bottom there, the reason I wanted this was so that I could change uh, that one there to there where the D-pad is and put the D-pad basically well as you can see. Um, this is the one I use mainly for the PC, uh, obviously because it's wired. Uh, if you see there, you've got a controller, you've got the, uh, the analogue there, and you've got the, the D-pad there. That's... I am so used to the Xbox 360 pad because, I mean, I played that for at least like three years before I actually got the PlayStation 2. And then... <laughs> I think I've, the play, I've only had the PlayStation 3 since 2010 or 11. And so, that's what I want to do. I wanted this so that I could move that to where the D-pad is, change it to swap them round, basically. Uh, but the thing is, like I said, people were saying, oh, it feels cheap and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I can honestly say, it's a, 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 I don't know why it's such an heavy weight, but, you know, it's quite heavy, you've got the buttons, you know, actually feel very responsive, and I can honestly n not understand why people would say that this feels so cheap and plastic and crap. You know, it, 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 it baffles me, so, the things that some people say for whatever reason. 
Um, so, if you'll just excuse me, I shall have a quick read of the book and I shall show you a, a, a change of buttons. Okay, first thing I've done is I've removed a panel from the back, as you can see there. And what was inside there are a couple of weights. That's why the pad, or the controller, was so heavy. <laughs> um, you, you, apparently you can adjust the weight. Uh, these, I think they should just slide out somehow. Uh, oh, hold on. If, if I just lift that and then... Ah. <laughs> it's kind of a bit awkward, it doesn't exactly tell you how to remove these things, you know, but... Oh, here we go. That's it. So, that is one of the weights. Uh, in, and I'll tell you something, that they are quite heavy. I mean, just these two weights in this little pack is almost as heavy as the old controller. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, so yeah, you've got these little weights, which I must admit, I think I will remove. If... Uh, If I'm actually able to remove this other one. Ah, there we go. So, those are the weights. And I'd say, well, I haven't got any, any scales or anything, they're in the, in the kitchen. But, they are actually quite heavy. And this now just feels like a piece of plastic. Uh, and, as I say, I will. Uh, Click this back onto there. Now let's see which way does it go. I think it goes that way. Yep, that's it. And to there. And that feels a lot lighter. It's. I do prefer a lighter pad. I mean, obviously some people may prefer a heavier, than, heavier one. That's why they include these weights. But I don't know. I, like, I do like a lighter pad. So there we go. That's that. Next, let's go to the actual buttons. Here we are. That is with the face plate off. Well, if I turn it this way, which is probably better. Um, come on, focus, please. You can probably see that there's like little arrows and stuff. Uh, basically, what you would do is, such as that one there. That is like the lock position. You turn and remove. That's it. Uh, you can see that there's uh, the sort of elect electrodes. For God's sake, camera. Thank you. There we go. Extreme close up. Those sort of electrodes and stuff, or whatever you want to call them, transistors sticking out, obviously connect inside there. And now, obviously, what I'll. Well, I'll, uh, if I show you. Let's get the, the right angle. You can see there it's kind of on the line. Now, if I turn. Oh, oh sorry, I need to. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, turn it that way, and then that just pops out like so. Now, all I need to do to, turn, to make it like the Xbox 360 controller is pop that in there turn and lock and there you go that puts that there and obviously we, we just get the other uh, analog stick there um, we slide that in oh, just, after excuse me a moment slide that in Slide that in like so, and then that clicks into place. There you go, you've got a, a PlayStation 3 controller that's got the same sort of layout as the Xbox 360 controller. Ta -ta! 
Uh, obviously, the buttons you can't change because they're pretty much like that anyway. The main thing with this being the MLG controller is so you can do that. You can swap. Whoops! Things falling off the desk. Uh, so that you can swap around, you know, uh, the sticks and the D-pad and whatever, to however you want. I mean, obviously, like I was saying, I do prefer the Xbox 3, the Xbox controller's layout with the way that the analog sticks are and the D-pad down there. So that means, I mean, it's not going to make me better at, uh, at, at games. <laughs> I mean, but it means I will probably enjoy them a bit more. Uh, as you can see, let's let's get it in focus there. Uh, as you can see, it says Major League Gaming and the thing, and that that there is. Uh, the part where it, you literally, well, let me just get the, uh, the, the leader. Obviously, it's uh, USB, so obviously, it just back, plugs into the USB of the, your PlayStation 3. The other end being that there. I'm not sure exactly what kind of connection you call that. I mean, uh, into olden days, you used to call it like a DIN socket. Um, I don't think it matters so much uh, which way it, it plugs on because. Oh, hang on. How many was there? You know, one, two, I mean you've got five pins and there doesn't appear to be, oh there is, a, there is a particular way, I don't know if you can see when it focuses again, there's a groove at the top there, a little groove so it does just go uh, the one way in. Let's give that a, a push in there and Screw that down there, which is nice and secure. That's not going to pull out at any time. So, yeah, there's that. And just for the sake of thing, the uh, the face plate, which is upside down, obviously, um, it appears to be just magnetic. There's like these points here, and it. Literally just goes on click. <laughs> I pretty much literally just threw that on there, <laughs> and that's it. That, that, that's all it is. It just literally like clips on there. Um, well, clips on the uh, just well, sticks on sort of thing, and that's it. Just to finish, um, also. The, the bit that was in uh, the, the blue plastic bits, like the, the extra parts. Um, the difference with these is that is a, a matte finish rather than. Uh, like, oh, let me just take that one off. Uh, See, so the one that was just on the controller is that one. That's the, uh, the, the matte, uh, the, the shiny finish. That one is the matte. So the difference, and I suppose you know, if you want, uh, if you want to change the look of the control from, uh, you know, so that you kind of got the shiny grips and the matte plate, then obviously you can do that. Uh, now. These are the, di the different analog controllers. These are more like the, the, the Xbox 360 controllers. Uh, so, so you literally could make these an Xbox 360 controller. 
<laughs> by you know I'm putting these in instead of uh, the other ones. Obviously, you've got the two. Depend. I mean, this is why I was saying that's how customizability is. You could use just one of these and one of the rounded ones. What's already in there? You know, or you could put both of them in if you want to. Uh, the D pad, uh, the extra D pad. That's just a shiny one. Uh, as you can see with that one it's it's like the four button d-pad that one is just the, like the solid cross style so yeah that, there's another thing you can change and same with the, you know, the, the grip there you've got the shiny that one's the matte finish so yeah I'm not sure uh, yeah, they're pretty much the same. They literally kind of just peel off. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, all that's said is what seems to be like a couple of herb magnets, and it, it, this is how simple it is. It literally just pops on like that. And as you can see, as you can see there, that's the uh, well, the complete matte finish sort of thing. And if you've got nails, which I've got a you know, little bit of nail, you can just easily pop that off there, and then just, I mean, look at seconds, that's all it takes, it's literally seconds if you just want to change, just pop that one off, pop that one on, that's, that is in real time, I haven't speeded it up, I will talk all the way through it, there we go, and pop, and there you have it. That was my unboxing video of the uh, the MLG Pro Circuit PlayStation 3 uh, controller. I am very pleased with it. Um, I mean, for the price, these they used to cost like 70, 80 pound uh, originally. Uh, this cost well, <laughs> you did actually sort of keep rising and falling in price uh, I think ended up paying just under £20 for it uh, at the moment on Amazon uh, as in as of the 10th of July 2014 uh, it's, it was £19.83 the last time looked and so um, it's a great piece of kit uh, I will try it with uh, a, a game in a moment. Um, most likely something like Grand Theft Auto 5 or something because that seemed, that's a game I've been playing a lot of. Um, but I'll, I'll try it with that and I'll record a bit of gameplay and add it on to the end of this. Uh, but for now, uh, thanks for watching this unboxing. I know I may have gone on a bit longer than necessary, but I just wanted to show everything and take my time a bit. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the couple of minutes gameplay at the end, and bye-bye.